Hey guys, this is Comic Udo, and today I'm doing a review for Earth 2, issue 17. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Udo episode 21, which is a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show, and this is for Dark Avenger Inc. And uh, here are the exclusive comics for that show. Uh, we have Alex and Aja, or Alex plus Aja, issue 1 for Image Comics. Um, Action Comics, issue 25, part of Zero Year. Tie in. Uh, Trillium, issue 4. Then we have Green Lantern, issue 25. And Morning Glories, issue 34. So if you want to go check out those uh, reviews, definitely go check out Comic Uno, episode 21 on Dark Avenger Inc. But let's talk about Earth 2, issue 17. Um, very cool cover. Um, you know, we got this new Batman, who we still don't know who this Batman is, uh, but I hope we find out soon, because it's been kind of a hint since, uh, I don't know, I feel like five issues ago, I would say, about five issues ago, so that's like five months we've been waiting, since the annual, we've been waiting to see who this Batman is, and they keep getting closer to it, but we still don't know who this Batman is, uh, but we see he's, he has a little dark side towards the end of this issue. Uh, and also we get to see that Tom Taylor is doing uh, his first issue on the series, taking over from James Robinson, uh, which I was very happy to hear that because uh, I really loved his Injustice run. I, you know, personally didn't continue the series just because I thought it was very, um, couldn't really continue from there. Uh, it wasn't really a progression type series, uh, but I had a lot of fun with it. You know, there's a lot of great story and I think he is a great writer, hopefully has a great uh, career ahead of him for DC. Uh, which uh, I'm very excited to see what he does with Earth 2. And this is his first issue, so let's see if it was good. Uh, so in this issue, we get to see that dark side, which is kind of the Superman that people are thinking is Superman uh, of the Forevers uh, from Earth 2. We don't really know where the Superman came from, but he is the dark side of this world. And he's killing everybody. He's trying to kill everybody, and the world's in danger. And, uh, you know, the, the world army is trying to figure out what should we do? How do we defeat him? And even the Forevers of now really don't know how to defeat him. So Flash, um, Dr. Fate, and Dr. Fate's like, alright, magic, let's try that. That does not work. Uh, Darkseid just cracks that helmet, and uh, now Dr. Fate's going crazy. Uh, and then we actually see Red Tornado, which is a female version of Red Tornado, which we've seen before in the regular universe, but... This Red Tornado is Lois Lane, and uh, we get to see that, uh, spoiler alert, um, you know, that her father was trying to protect her and everything, and uh, there's a crash from Darkseid, and he dies in the end. He says, you know what, I knew Clark was Superman. And of course, Lois and Clark were together in Earth 2, so I was like, I knew Clark was Superman, but this is not Clark. But you were the only one that couldn't convince him. Uh, to not do the things he's doing. So we get to see the Red Tornado's Lois Lane, and she's maybe the only one that could help this world. Uh, and then we have a little cliffhanger with the Batman, which was the cover, so I guess it's a little misleading because we don't get that much Batman here. Uh, but he says, let's release all the criminals uh, because they might be able to help uh, defeat Darkseid. So we don't know who this Batman is. Uh, what is his motives? Uh, I don't think Bruce Wayne even of Earth 2, would, and he is dead, so I don't think it's Bruce Wayne. Uh, could it be Thomas Wayne? Uh, you know, a lot of people are guessing that. Some people are saying Damien. Uh, but I'm still interested to see who this Batman is and why does he want to let go of criminal, the criminals? Uh, because that is not the Batman we know. Um, yeah, so I'm really interested in that. Um, you know, there are slow parts in this issue, I will agree. Um, there are some slow parts here where I'm like, eh, it just feels like the same thing that we've been getting with her, too. It's like, um, there's always something that makes you hang on, but it's not anything special of a series. Uh, but then there's like those, again, those little moments here, like Batman wanting his villains to get out and uh, help him, and then Darkseid, exactly what is he doing? I think the most interesting thing for me was the Red Tornado part um, being... Lois Lane. Uh, I think that's an interesting twist for her too and bringing Lois Lane here, um, you know, I'm interested. Uh, so again, there's a lot of interesting parts that actually pushed me to give a three and a half for this issue, but then there are a little slow parts here also. Uh, but I'm excited to see what Tom Taylor does. I thought this was a very interesting issue um, overall, so I do say pick it up. Um, it still feels James Robinson-like to me. Like, I don't didn't really feel the transition of a new writer coming on, which I think is a good thing. Maybe he's just trying to transition very slowly. That way it doesn't feel like a new writer just randomly jumped on. Uh, so I did like that. Um, it didn't really feel so 
like a, a 180. It felt more of a, a 30 degree change. Uh, so yeah, pick it up though. I give it a three and a half. Um, it's $2.99. So uh, actually a lot of DC stuff for a $3.99 this week because of the zero year, uh, you know, tie-ins. But uh, I like this one. So I'm going to give it a three and a half and I'll be sticking with her two for a little while, see what Tom Taylor does. And if I still feel that same way, may I will drop it. But I do want to give it a little bit of a chance. Maybe find out who Batman is. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this is Comic Gano. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Gano and the Red Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.